U.S. President Joe Biden played down on a suggestion he made in an interview with Time magazine that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is dragging the Gaza war for political reasons. Biden's remarks are drawing sharp response from the Israeli government, which accused the U.S. president of straying from diplomatic norms. But later in the day at the White House, Biden appeared to back away from the claim and said, and I quote, I don't think so. He's trying to work out this serious problem he has. The president admitted, however, in the interview to wider tensions with Netanyahu, saying that they had a major disagreement of the post-conflict future of Gaza. He also added that Israel had engaged in inappropriate conduct during the war. The Democrats said, and I quote again, my major disagreement with Netanyahu is what happens after. What, what does it go back to? Do Israel, Israeli forces go back in? The answer is, if that's the case, it can't work. However, Biden's demand for a Gaza ceasefire has not slowed U.S. weapons sales to Tel Aviv. Israel's defense ministry has officially signed a deal with the U.S. to receive 25 additional F-35 fighter jets. The ministry says a delegation to the U.S. signed a letter of agreement recently for the three billion U.S. dollar deal that will be financed by U.S. military aid. The agreement will add a third squadron to the Israeli Air Force's fleet of Lockheed Martin built planes. Netanyahu's popularity plummeted after the 7th October attack by Hamas. Most political observers say that Netanyahu will lose elections and will be forced into opposition if elections were to be held now. But elections have been put off until the war is over, or at least until major military operations are deemed to have been completed. G7 and Arab powers are urging both Israel and Hamas to agree to a truce and hostage release deal outlined by U.S. President Joe Biden. A response from Palestinian militant group Hamas on Israel's ceasefire proposal that Biden revealed is still being awaited. CIA Director William Burns and a top White House official, Brett Magak, have departed for meetings in Doha and Cairo aimed at advancing the Israeli hostage deal proposal. Qatar said it has delivered the Israeli ceasefire proposal to Hamas. Another paper was now much closer to the positions of both sides. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.